when we think about it, all of us have our own lifestyles. Um, and I really liked what was shared in the previous talk about a, a conventional lifestyle of verification. You can actually just picture how we've taken on all these belief systems, how we've tried to fit in, how we've tried to belong, um, which kinds of information we've taken in that we like to build a, a career and identity. So what I really appreciate about, I mentioned the Four Mainstays lifestyle of Balanced View, just a, a global group of friends who are living this in lifestyle of complete empowerment, where when we step into this environment, we're only ever cared for, nurtured, empowered, um, and just shown that we are completely amazing as we are. Like it's not about pointing out everyone's faults and you know, trying to shape people to look a certain way so that they fit in. and It's just people coming together and living a life of spontaneous benefit. And it's an easy way to live. Like We don't have to prove anything. There's less and less is there an identity to even defend or prop up. Um, concepts like competition, um, things like gossip and criticism, um, playing out our moods, these things just fall away naturally. That's an old and tired lifestyle that, you know, if we come to meetings like this, you know, we probably recognize we're quite tired of the effort of trying to compete, of the gossip, of the criticism, of you know, also just seeing what's going on around the world. I mean, countries warring with each other. That's not a very nice lifestyle for anyone, really. I mean, it's just not. It's not pleasant. It's a, a lot of energy, a waste of... <laughs> precious human lives and um, so yeah just honoring the, the precious lives of all of us and all beings and all worlds and having that simple practice the first of the mainstays is the practice of short moments of open intelligence whenever you naturally remember to do so so we come into the meetings and we, we hear it again and again this instruction whether you like to stop thinking or... For me, it was helpful just to stop describing everything for short moments many times. Uh, resting naturally. And just relaxing, complete relaxation for short moments many times. And you see there is an ease, a peace that's already present. Even if, you're, even if you have a lot of thoughts going on right now, there is an actual ease and a, a presence, a, an intelligence. And the more we acknowledge it and rely on this, it becomes so much more obvious. So, this is a... Initially, for me, I had to remind myself to take short moments because I would get all wrapped up in something like anger, describing all of the data around it, all the reasons why I was angry and how I needed to fix it, how I needed to fix the other person. And then just reminding myself, okay, just take a short moment, allow it to be as it is, emphasize what about me is, it's easeful, relaxed, and, and potently beneficial. So we can do this wherever we are. It's an amazing practice that you don't need to set yourself up in some special situation. It doesn't matter what kind of thoughts, feelings, or sensations you're having to take short moments. So initially, the, the afflictive states are probably going to be your best reminders. You know, when you find yourself really stressed or anxious or angry or desirous or bored or you know that's a great reminder to just stop thinking for a moment and emphasize your open intelligence to stop describing and it's like uh, you give yourself a mini vacation you get that immediate upgrade so like was shared it's not something that you're pulling in from the outside it, it's just it's almost like well, it's just like um, the sky when there are lots of clouds and then they just blow away. The sky was unaffected the whole time. It was clear, pure from the beginning. The, the clouds never really affected it. So check that out in your experience. Like When I started to realize that all of these negative thoughts and sensations that I was emphasizing, and when I let them be as they are, they don't have that same power that I'd been giving them. They really don't affect what's looking through my eyes. They never ever affect my open intelligence.
so by relying on short moments, we just become more skillful, clear. Relationships start to harmonize. Um, anything that you're really passionate about becomes, it's like turning up the dimmer switch on your passion meter. Or your creativity just starts to overflow. So, you know, these are just natural outcomes of a, a lifestyle of the Four Mainstays. So the practice and then the training, <clears throat> it's good to have trainings, like we want to learn, so we have written text where everything you read in the text is all only confirming open intelligence. It's not like dangling a carrot and saying, well, if you get rid of your anger, then you'll have this open intelligence. It's empowering us to see that some, the afflictions, the negativity is also too open intelligence, inseparable from open intelligence, like the breeze is inseparable from the air right now. So the texts only confirm this, and when you read something, it just becomes more and more your direct experience. It starts to resonate more and more deeply with us. So you hear people talking, you read, you can watch the videos. We have, um, we meet online all the time. We just want this available for all the world's people, whether you have just a simple mobile phone, you could even get a calling card, call into one of the clarity calls that we have on a daily basis, and you would meet with a group of people interested in this approach also. So we have it available, freely available for anyone who's open and interested to it, and having video conferences and meeting at the different centers around the world. And then there's a trainer available. It's like having uh, the best friend that you'll ever encounter, somebody who you can rely on to, sh to share, to um, open up topics that you maybe didn't want to share with anyone else ever. Like, you know those topics that are too private, too personal, that you would only bottle up inside. I mean, it's so powerful and relieving to actually have another person to normalize this with, to see that it's actually normal for us to have private considerations and these things that we really don't like about ourselves that we just don't ever want to surface. Um, the trainer, we can write to them in email and receive empowered empowerment. You know, usually when we ask for support, we usually think we're going to get a long list of criticisms and constructive criticism or it's it's just um, helpful tips and always on support encouragement I've always been met with total love care and support from my trainer and I wouldn't be here today without this person in my life because I wouldn't have normalized all of those things that I consider really weird about myself awkward anxious, weird, grumpy, you know, just a big list of like things that would, if you really consider that you wouldn't want to be in a community because it would just be, who would want to hang out with a weird, grumpy, annoying, frustrated person. <laughs> and then I come here and hear that everybody has similar data streams and then I can actually laugh at it. And it's actually my power to be of great benefit. So powerful to actually instinctively realize that. I'm, it's not some way I'm trying to fool myself into thinking that these things are the way they are. And on the question about holding back and, yeah, you just show up in this community and you find that you can't really hold back. Like just jump into the service teams and just see how your beneficial creativity just flows into every Thing you do from the simple things like sweeping the f this floor here in the morning I mean there's just so much devotion to the group to everyone just love and care and creativity that goes into it like always spontaneously upgrading the systems and so less and less can you actually hold back through spontaneous open intelligence and initially we might have just feel full of energy, like we could do so many things, and it's good just to let this settle also. Like we don't have to immediately launch into, you know, launching a 
global business production company or you know we can just settle in with the teams here and learn from each other and we find systems that work and so just practical skillful means that are available to us more and more so the fourth mainstay I was sharing is a global community knowing that you could go to any of the groups around the world and you'd be met with the same warmth openness it it's amazing like you just go to and you could pop into a meeting in Oslo and you'd hear a similar la the same language. You'd be w greeted, you'd be welcomed. You'd, people would know where you're coming from. They'd just invite you in, invite you for dinner, ask if you need anything, and not expecting anything in return either. So, And we see that that's an infectious way of living. That's what, how people would really want to be, you know, it's like open arms, open doors. So.